Oh my god, girl. I be trying to look better. I'm trying to do something to my neck. Because, y'all, as I get older, look at my grandbaby. My auntie didn't I'm give me anything, time. but she told me as about I get the product. Older, oh my god, my neck. And I'm going to try it. Well, my auntie. And if it works, I'll tell you guys about gave it. Gave me some stuff. Get your papa. I can get your papa. Get your papa. I put the man brace. <laughs> Grandma, he don't want to hold his bottom. Look at him. He's doing it late. <laughs> oh, get my name on. I can do my arm. Oh. oh my God, my neck, y'all. I'm going to have to do some work on my neck. Don't nobody got time for that. Talking about your neck getting old. It is. They got some stuff for that. You guys, I forgot how old I am. 56. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know if I'm 56. I think I'm 56 years old, y'all. That's a shame, but I know. Oh, God, Jesus, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Oh, oh, no, I'm gonna have to turn it off. I need to get the tag. Oh my god, I keep forgetting how to do <laughs> so now he holding it. He holding it. But y'all, oh, somebody was texting me, y'all. But y'all don't know. So I was supposed to be giving me a call. What the heck are they doing? They don't want to clean my body. So y'all, I'm gonna have to take it to the law. I'm gonna have to take it to the law because they are they're actually discriminating. So if you don't go by the system's rule, if you don't um get a COVID test, even though you don't have COVID, the people around you don't have COVID, they've had their tests, they've had their shots, they ain't got COVID. So if they ain't got COVID and you've been around them and you've been around them for days, then you That's ain't got COVID, right? Right. So we they normally don't even ask you for COVID tests unless you have symptoms of COVID. They were asking you, did you have symptoms? And if you had symptoms, then you had to take the COVID test. So that was the law. And now they're just saying whatever procedures you want done, Doctors anything got on concerning somebody your health, it's just if you want the procedure BS. done, you have to have a COVID test. So my teeth they switched the law. But and um, they're trying to make that's making people. What you doing, Judith, with the napkin? Say hey, everybody. Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. You so hot to be a dude. Anyway. I'm done. I had to turn down the camera. I just had to say that. Still in the same predicament, but what I have, what can I do? So, I'm not going to take no COVID test. I'm not sticking nothing in my nose. Um, my um, daughter's best girlfriend was telling me that I can go. I don't have to have nothing in my nose, which is good. That 
I can go spit in a tube. I'll do that. I'll go spit in the tube and let them test my saliva. They ain't putting nothing in me. Boop, boop, boop. If it ain't cleaning out the system and it ain't an enema. Found out that the Not university an don't accept the saliva test. Call cleansing. So it has to be done through the nose. I'll be back. we will be back. Did this man bun, y'all. So, you guys, I'll turn my camera around. Hopefully, you guys can see me. I am sitting over here. I had something to talk about. I knew it was. And I'm going to try this. Who going to try this with me? I'm going to... I'm not going to try it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to write, first I'm going to start off, uh, he said 300, uh, Steve Harvey was saying 300 things that you are grateful for, 300 things, and you know that your mind can get boggled out, but he said if you put it on paper, or 300 things that you want to accomplish, you know, 300, 300. 300 things that you can see yourself doing, manifesting. So I'm not going to try to do anything. I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do is turn off this camera. And then I am going to write 300 things that I want to accomplish. What I'm grateful for. Just write things I want to do. You know, just all that. So I'm going to begin. Mm -mm. Little less sheet. Morning. He come back. Look at him. He got an attitude, y'all. His nose running. He don't like it. He don't like it. What you doing, Judith? Judith! Judith, what the Don't be getting no attitude at me. Get mad at me. Don't be getting mad at me. I didn't do it. Uh, look, he got his mail, but ah, I didn't do it. Okay. Hey, mommy, look. Ah. Boo boo. You talking now? Because now you see yourself. Tell me what's really going on. You, oh, oh, Grandma. Ah! Get that out! Are we trying to get the ball? Ah! Oh! Oh! E! Oh! <laughs> He's trying to get the ball out. He coming. He's coming. Stand up. You be trying to walk with his little walker. Y'all, that's what the babies do. I tell y'all about the babies. These little new, these new babies, honey, are something else. That one is Judah Buddha Buddha. A Judah Buddha Buddha. A Judah Buddha Buddha. A Judah Buddha Buddha. You think that'd be like, what about my grandma? Here he come. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. I'm oh done. Oh my God. I went in this store. You see this? This is on 87th Street. This right here. I went in this beauty supply. Now this beauty supply has all African men. They got black people working here. But they got their black, you know, they got rules and I get their rules of this there. And you're sitting there and you're looking at your product and you're saying, trying to figure out if you want this product or not. Imagine them ringing it up and then you say, well, I'll take the rest of this, but I don't want one piece. And you know what they tell you? You cannot return it. Never left the store. Never went anywhere. This one right here. Never left the register. I'm to see this. This is the beauty. I mean, ladies, if, if you are at the counter, do not purchase unless you're for sure. Because guess what they will do? They will tell you they're not going to return the product to you. This beauty supply right here. This is something that I will never shop again. And they will never have to see my face in that store again. I don't go in places that treat me like that. And they will never see my face again. And this is on 87th Street, off the highway, by the jewels. They are so, you know, it's, that's how they treat us. And it's sad, because they do have a lot of black people that work there, but they standing there at the desk, it's just sad. I would never spend money with them again. Ever, not here. They got another store. I have to go all the way out there. They'll never get me in their store again. I don't do business like that. I'm standing, oh Lord, y'all forget me. I'm standing there. I never left the register, y'all. Never left the register. And I wasn't thinking. And they was like, because the, ne the, the man never told me the store policy. And in actuality, if a person doesn't the tell you the policy, oh my God. and oh then my God. tell you that you should they read the receipt after you purchase, Ever. They're held accountable Ever. for that because they're supposed to tell you Again. the policy of the store, and I was never I told to the policy. Person, but people. You know, and I was told the policy after the fact, and after they rung me up. So they get black You were supposed to tell me that before you rung me up. And they was like, well, if you was, you know if I was to purchase policy. that, even if I didn't leave store. the counter, that I cannot get my money back, and I can only get a store credit. It's like, and then I wouldn't have purchased. You know, the policy. She used to be made to plain. And then and they're talking about rules. <clears throat> that's no, all I'm rules saying. Rules what? I never that's left all. your store. That is crazy. But anyway, you're back. They ain't lost the customer. I ain't going back there. So I'm I not going to tell left nobody the not to shop no place. But what I will I say. I just never left the counter. I was standing there. Here. Just make sure before you, before you purchase anything, make sure you want it. Because even if you are standing there at the cash register and never leave, they're not going to give it back. They're going to give you a store credit. So, that's how they roll over there. I had to say that. Well, let me go. I did uh, give me another mask. Oh, ghetto, ghetto. But that's how people pick you. This is an uh, African-American neighborhood. And black people are so, Lord, forgive me. We so slow. We don't even band together. Yeah, they work for them. They don't even come together as people. It's so sad because black say, people no. are up in there and they treat each other bad. It's just, I mean, the men wasn't bad. They weren't bad. But the manager, she was sort of janky. I'm asking her where something is and she just point. Oh my God. Well, our people got to get Well, better. she did say I was we 9 and 10, better. but she we did act like did. I was bothering anyway, her too. Nah. Anyway. So why you looking at them? You can't look at that program. Why they looking at you? People looking at you. Riley. That's Riley. Yeah. 
right now. Knock out. And then I'm over here looking crazy.